All right, we are live and recording. My name is Ellen, and this is Team Playhard's weekly team call. Thank you guys so much for hopping on live. Oh, I see Dana just hopped on. Hi, Dana. Um, first, I'm just going to sort of recap something that I talked about week before last um, on the heels of Marketing Impact Academy. Uh, we talked a lot about Facebook, and just to do a quick synopsis of that um, call, um, Mark Zuckerberg, who owns Facebook and Instagram, says that Facebook is at an all-time low. 50 million less viewers per day. I didn't have that number when I did the call the other day. Remember, I was looking for it. 50 million fewer per day. Mark Zuckerberg said that. Um, he's making a series of changes. We've been aware of some of them rolling out in terms of the algorithm, meaning what you do and how it gets seen by those in your life and acquaintances and friends of friends. Um, he's making some changes along those lines. He's talk, He's saying it, it's not rumor. And um, stories is a great way to go. So those are all three things that he has said. Um, and even though it is at an all time low and has 50 million less view, views per day, viewers per day, Facebook and Instagram are still the gorillas of social media. So don't think, oh, Facebook is old hat now. Nobody's on it. I'm going to just spend all my time elsewhere. It's still the king. Um, YouTube and Google, we'll talk more about YouTube later, uh, not tonight, a different call. Um, YouTube and Google are owned by Google, <laughs> and they're both the biggest search engines in the world. YouTube and Google. So a lot of times when you're making your, Sherry I know is just starting to do this, created a YouTube channel and she's repurposing videos. So if she makes a video, she's putting it on Instagram, she's putting it on Facebook, she's putting it on YouTube. And hopefully she'll be blogging and putting it all on the blog too soon. So um, repurpose, repurpose. Okay, so then um, the other thing um, in terms of recapping is that we wanna lead with conversation starters. It doesn't really matter like, how many friends we have. It's how engaged are they. It really doesn't. So the fact that if you guys have been following my story lately, the fact that I just went from a page of 2,000 people that was dead, locked myself out, and now I only have 200 followers, guess what? I bet it's a better page. <laughs> Even though it doesn't look like it, it's 200 people that actually want to be there and actually care as opposed to what it was. So um, that's that in terms of Facebook now, that's what matters. Um, and then as we know, and I feel like we as a team are awesome at, so good at, we don't lead with the product. We don't lead with sales. We don't lead with um, buy my stuff, here's my link, product, product, product. Um, but don't you guys feel like when you go on Facebook, it's advertising galore. It's not just network marketers, which have infiltrated, um, and some of them in a really tacky, classless, yucky, away. Um, but it's businesses too. Um, I remember Gary V saying like a couple years ago, I read or listened to one of his audible books when I was just being turned on to him. And he said, he said this, he predicted it. This is like three years ago. The book was called, I can't remember what the book was. It's not jab, 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 right hook. And it's not crushing it. Oh, I think it was called ask Gary V. It's an audio book. And, um, he said this, he's like, Facebook is, people can advertise basically for nothing right now. And businesses are going to catch on and network marketers are going to catch on. And then they're going to have to pay big time to have their stuff seen. And so I think we're just kind of at the precipice of that. Um, and then just to conclude the recap, we want our customers to view us as a friend and not a business. So we want real connections. Okay. So if you're taking notes tonight, let's get into the heart of the call. Um, Shalene at Marketing Impact, um, Shalene Johnson, um, guru to business, guru to fitness, but guru to business and entrepreneurs um, and help, helping to create um, multi, multi-millionaires. She says one of the most important things for us to do is build an email list. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't done that well at all. So um, please write that down. It, and if you're like, I just don't really have any, I'm like brand new, I'm start, I feel like I don't have, I, I don't know, I have nothing. So what? Start there. 
start, I have to start there, start there. Um, some of you that have like customers, you can, you can export your customer list um, in an Excel sh spreadsheet from your coach online office and get an email list there. And many of those, I mean, not many, but some of those will say do not contact. So you, you have your customers, you have the right and privilege to email them because they could have said, no, they don't want to be contacted by the coach. And some of them have said that and others have said that it's okay. So you have the ones that said it's okay. You have their email. So I would start there. Um, but then we want to convert and get emails from people that we're coming in contact with. So, um, what Shalene is saying right now is not to do opt-ins, which is the message of old, not to do opt-ins, but to do freemium that people open. So in case you don't know what that exactly means, um, oh, oh, and one of the reasons, let me back up, let me rewind, rewind, er, about the email list. Facebook could go away, right? I mean, like, Obviously the tides change and the tides are changing now and we you've heard this before I'm sure if you're if you listen to podcasts we rent space on Facebook um, But you own your email and Jake gave me a really good podcast to listen to about email um, I was hoping he would be on and could share the podcast with us in case you're interested in that and how um, Email is a, I, I won't go down that rabbit show right now, but, uh, if he watches the replay, maybe he can post that link under the, um, under the recording in the team page. Um, so, so in terms of not doing opt-ins, that's where like, let's say I go shop at Athleta online. Cause I see like a sale I'm, I'm being advertised to, of course, because I'm, I'm on Facebook and of course that's all you get on Facebook, right? Right. Is advertise, advertise, advertise. Let's say I want to buy a pair of leggings or I want to shop. And I see that if I enter my email, I can opt in and then they'll give me 10% off. So what do I do? I give them my fake email, my spam email, not my real one. No way. So I give them my spam email. I have like three spam emails, one that's kind of spammy, one that's total spam. Like the kind of spammy one I check sometimes, like maybe a couple times a year. And then there's my name at Gmail. And I don't allow any spam in there because it'll overwhelm me. It, I, I keep it tight. So, um, so we used to say in business, like do an opt-in so that they go to your website and like, or they, there's, you, you collect their email that way. Now it, it's being advised to build a freemium, use a freemium that gets people's real email. So I was going to give an example and I was going to use Jake because he's building um, his email list right now. He's using MailChimp which is a free service, which I just subscribed to as well, the free, the free version of it. And um, I did import 1,600 customers because that's how many customers I have in my first business center because I've been a coach for so long and for hitting Success Club and 1,600. So I imported them into MailChimp, those who I have a, a, a good email for, um, or I hope I have a good email for. Um, so... Um, Okay, so he's ahead of me in this process. And I know Katie Brichette does it too. And Melanie, I don't think you do an email, uh, newsletter. Okay. Um, okay, so Jake has created a newsletter. And so he has a freemium, which is, this is like the, the most relatable example I could give you guys because you know him so well, where if they, basically they have to use their real email because they want to, open it. They, and so it's, um, what he's giving them is, um, he's doing a picture a week, like the photo of the week. Cause he's starting his like photography side hustle thing. So, um, that might not be the best example, but it is pretty good because you wouldn't, they wouldn't give Jake a spam email if they wanted to see that weekly. Right. Whereas my athleta example I just want the 10% off that one pair of leggings and I don't want another, I don't want us to be bothered by them again. So, um, 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 another example of a good freemium would be like Melissa McAllister has an ebook that she created and just like an ebook that, um, is her intermittent fasting or, um, 
let's see, it could be, um, it could be a meal plan. Like let's say Sherry created a meal plan. It's hard to eat on the 80 day obsession. Like it's hard to make meals, <laughs> real meals that fit that food plan. And so, um, she could have a, an actual meal plan that was like, um, a, you know what I mean? <laughs> Instead of the colors, um, for someone to go through the different phases and, um, or the different plans and sell it. It's like the lady who did the book, Sherry, the book. I have it over here somewhere. My tracker book that I bought from Etsy from that girl. Um, that was, um, okay. So anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So her next point was create baby offers. Um, I got a little bit ahead of myself. So pretend I said this before I said the Melissa McAllister. So the freemium is free. Jake's thing is free. The picture of the week, the photo, the flower of the week, that's free. But Shalene says also have baby offers, things that are like $4.99, $3.99, $7.99, $9.99, dollars little baby offers where people use their real email and you provide something of value, whether it's a meal plan, what if I could do an art lesson or... Um, Diane or Sherry could do something in their quilting. Um, you know, um, maybe Dana could do a meditation, you know, whatever is in your um, wheelhouse. Um, then there's baby offers that relate to our business that um, are things like um, a seven day sampler of Shakeology, um, um, uh, doing Clean Week, um, something like that. Okay. So point one, build an email list. Point two, have a freemium that actually gets people's real email. And then, um, and you might need to brainstorm on that, what you could um, do. And then another option or both is baby offers where it's not free, ma'am. It's just a baby offer, ma'am. <laughs> All right, now going live. And I know we've talked about going live a million times. Um, but I think there are some new little tidbits in here for us. So when you go live, you want to start immediately. Do you guys get like, it just happened to me. Do you guys like ever like not push the button right away? And then like every second that goes by that you don't push start the video, you just like the fear, like just, and then you're like, I'm not going to do it today. <laughs> I hadn't gone live in a while and then I, I just went live a couple days ago and man, I didn't push that button right away. And that was push the button right away. First, have your bullet points, be well lit, have your phone horizontal, make sure you have auto, your auto lock, your display lock is off so that your phone will rotate. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know how many of you got, how many of you guys have made that mistake where you go live and then you post it and it's sideways. Am I the only one? You guys, Sherry, you haven't done that? Oh, okay. Really, you guys? All right. All right. I've been going live mostly from my computer, though, not my phone. Oh. So when I've gone live in my groups, it's been just with my laptop. Um, I haven't gone live with my phone in a long time. But I spent a lot of time when I did do the tandem Facebook and Instagram live making sure that it would rotate. That yeah. It was rotated correctly because I was nervous. Um, this wasn't in my notes, but when you go live, you, so like when I'm talking to you guys right now, I'm looking at myself and I'm looking at you guys, but when you go live, you actually want to look at the camera. So if I look, if I'm on my phone, you, you, it's easy to look at yourself and then the messages. So your eyes are like down, but to be really powerful and engaging and to help build trust and all these things, we actually need to look at the little hole that the camera comes through. Um, okay, so you wanna start right away, and I don't just mean push the button right away, but I also mean start talking right away with a hook. Introduce yourself, because what if you say something amazing or hysterical, and it gets shared to people that don't know you? So I always wanna start with like, my name's Ellen, and blah, 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 blah. Um, so introduce yourself first, and then, um, Start immediately. There's someone, and I'm not going to say who or where because I'm just like, this video is going to be public and who knows if this person might see it. But there's someone whose live videos I watch regularly. Um, 
and they, and I need to watch them regularly. I don't have a choice. And they always wait for 10 people to hop on. And there's a lag time. So I'm like, there's 10 people on, I can see them. They've all, like, I can see there's 10 people on. And it just, it, it feels to me, it's the reason like I wanted to start recording at 6.30. It's the reason why if my class at the gym starts at noon, I wanna start talking at noon. Hey guys, thanks for coming. Welcome to Pio. It's respectful. And so I like instantly feel disrespected and disengaged and I instantly wanna go away if I have to sit there and wait. Egg, yes, Sherry, Sherry typed that is the right, right when I said it. I just feel like I don't have time for this. They're not organized. They're not going to get to the point. They don't even know what they're going to say. I'm out. So um, start immediately. Then you have to realize as you provide content that um, people will be coming in late, of course, and kind of missing the overall context. So you might need to just have that awareness that you sometimes need to like bridge the gap for the new people that are coming in late and give them a reason to stay to the end. Give them, hook them at the beginning, give them a reason to stay to the end. Um, and then try to elicit that engagement, the conversation. So asking them, so do engage. And I have a problem sometimes overly engaging with people. That's annoying too. Um, when it's also annoying to watch someone's live video and they're like overly engaging with like one person and they're off their point. And you're like, but I came on to hear what you had to say about this. And now you're just like down a rabbit hole. I'm guilty of that. So do acknowledge people sometimes live so that it has that live feel. The other thing Shaleen said that I didn't know, so I hope this is new to you too, is you want to talk as if you're FaceTiming them. So you want to like, when you get on, say, I'm so glad you're here. You're looking in the hole, like you're talking to your friend. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for coming. Like it's one person. So um, I thought that was super great. Um, okay, so let's see. Tell stories that make people care. Tell stories that make people care. I think my recent example is actually good because I went live about something that really sucked for me. And I, I do think that the people that watched cared about the situation that I got myself in and they wanted to help me solve it. So um, I won't tell you the whole story right now. Um, Sherry knows. <laughs> I think I boxed her for 45 minutes to collectively about it. But um uh, make people care in your stories. Um, good stories release dopamine, oxytocin, and endorphins. Um, those things inspire generosity, trust, curiosity, focus, um, motivation, memory, happiness, and reduce stress. Um, okay. Okay. So those are from the, what I just said about oxytocin and this is from Brock Johnson. So really quickly, um, some sort of habits and best practices about stories, um, make it personal and not broad, um, focus on emotion. Um, stories are remembered. This is just a fact. Stories are remembered 22 times more than facts, which I think is really funny that I would say that because I had to write it down because I didn't remember it because it's not a story. <laughs> it's a fact. Stories are remembered 22 times more than facts. Um, practice. So the best way to practice live video is to Instagram story or if you're a Snapchat or Snapchat or if you both do both. It is the best way to get comfortable talking in a live way. It's 15 seconds. It's so much easier to Insta story. That's the best way to get yourself ready and feeling comfortable talking live to people. Um, I watch everything I do back. I watch every stupid story back, every live video. I even watch these team calls back. Um, I had a, I was at a seminar for master trainers and Doris Thews, who Diane might know, she's a fitness, you might know Doris Thews. She was a keynote speaker for us. And I think she's like a, I can't, she works for Reebok or Schwinn or she's some big wig in the fitness industry, but not part of Beachbody, but she was hired by Beachbody to be a keynote speaker. And um, she said this to us at every event that you do. And I, so I apply this, I seriously, like I have applied this to my life in so many ways, but I absolutely apply this to live video. And I know I need to wrap up soon. 
at every event you do, so you guys, your event is your video or your story or your live video. Watch it back. So play it back in your mind if it was a, my master training event. And just pick one thing that you loved about what you did that you did right. Just one thing that you really did well that you want to continue to do because it was right. Um, and then pick one thing that you didn't do so well that next time you're going to do better. Just one thing. And I have lived by that and I do that. So like I will watch this team call back and there's going to be things that bother me about it. And there's going to be things that I'll be like, Oh, that was good that I said this or that I, I don't know, had my diva light on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, but the, the thing that I like, Oh yeah, that was better. <laughs> um, so you get the point. So do that with your video and guess what I noticed in myself. Cause I, cause we have verbal tics, right? Diane, she's an instructor. She knows we have verbal tics. Mark knows he's an instructor. Um, we where we say the same thing over and over and over and over when we teach. Oh my gosh, Betty, you are the cutest thing in the world. Oh my gosh. I want to take a picture of you. Are you really getting your roots dyed right now? Dude, I'm sorry. That's story worthy. That's the best. <laughs> Hold on a second. You guys, that is too cute. That's commitment right there. All right. So how committed are we? Betty, smile. Can you wave? <laughs> She's getting her roots done. And this is our team call. All right, back to business. All right. So what was I saying about watching it back? Oh, so I watched my, I started noticing a verbal tick in my stories. I started noticing that every single video, 15 second, I started with the word so. And then guess what else I noticed? I noticed that most of the people's story that I listen to do the same thing. And you know how you know it's really bad and I'm so the pot, I'm so the black pot. <laughs> this is me too. This is how you know it's bad. If you go to someone's story, like say you went to my story and I was like, so, da 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 so, da 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 so, da 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 so, and then they're fast forwarding through, which I'm, I often do. I'm like, come on, I got it. Like, is this, it? then all you hear is so, 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 do you guys know what I'm talking about? Are you, do you do that? Okay, you go, you do it too, Sherry? You do it too? And so like, I follow a bunch of master trainers and I want to see what their stories are like. They're doing it too. Like it's a thing in it and I don't like it. So it's just like a verbal tick. So it's something like that's an example of something to clean up. Um, and it's kind of just like saying, um, you know, it's just, and, um, it, those stories are really nice when you don't fill in, like if you let it be broken, like if you don't always connect the dots for the, um, viewer, if you just let the story have like broken sections, we don't have to go back and be like, so, so, all right, moving on. Um, da, 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 da. Practice, um, keep a list. So I'm sure you guys um, are like me and have pockets of inspiration where you're like, I could talk, this would be a great story. I could story about this. I could story about this, but like I have no makeup on right now and I look like a dog, so I'm not doing anything right now. <laughs> like this would be a great thing to talk about. We need to write those down in our calendars um, so that we have like a library of ideas to go to when we do have showered hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then lastly, just believe in yourself. Um, I swear you guys, I, I just, I feel it too. I know you guys do. I'm sure you do. I just hadn't live videoed on Facebook in a while and I did. And I was just like, ah, oh, I like all those self doubt things. Like I just, it's, it's hard and it's particularly hard if you don't do it routinely, which is another point I have that I don't know if you guys knew this, but definitely this was new to me. Um, so you guys know that Facebook wants to become like the new TV. So we're going to get more things about local news. Did I already say that to you guys a couple weeks ago? And that, okay, so YouTube wants to become like the new TV and make like TV and news like passe. And so does Facebook. They want to be where you go to consume and digest media. Um, so they really want to like, anyway. Um, so one of the best things you guys can do, you guys know that live video gets more views than anything else, right? They push it out into the feed. YouTube already has a TV subscription. Yeah. Um, is that called YouTube Red? No, Red is something else. Okay, so um, 
so we all know, I, I, I shouldn't assume, like the reason live video is more important than like pre-making it and making it perfect is because they want drama and excitement and entertainment and that happens in the live setting. And so, cause like there's this feeling of like anything could happen, like anything could happen. So, um, they, Mark Zuckerberg pushes it more out to more people. Um, and so that's the reason like live is more important to be doing than just uh, like all the videos I always post that are uploaded organically, like um, of my classes and whatnot. So um, bigger than that is if you schedule your own show and I, you don't have to like call it a show, but um, uh, if you have like a set time, like every Friday afternoon at three, it's like coffee, coffee with Melanie. And she, every Friday comes on at three. First of all, her own audience and followers, they will start to know. They will start to predict, like that video that I told you guys that I have to watch where they wait for 10 people to come on. That is an every, that's a once a week video. And so I know, I like look for it at the certain time. So your fans will start to do that. Even if it's like, Diane, you're working on your, quilting or whatever, Sherry, and you have a, you're going to talk about whatever, it doesn't matter, your classes, fitness tips, anything, um, you know, just time, time with you at, where people start to know they can hop on live. Um, but not, o- not only will people come to you because you're predictable, but Facebook will push it out more because they're like, this is a serious content provider. Let's push it out. Let's get it out there. Okay, I need to wrap up and move on. I wanna have a show. Um, We're trying to move. I haven't really talked about that, so. Anyway, we're trying to move. (laughs) When we move, God willing, um, I wanna have a show, uh, like a cooking show, and I suck at cooking. That's the funny thing is I hate cooking. I don't like to cook, but I really like good food. But anyway, (laughs) Mark, (laughs) so I think, how funny would it be if I have a cooking show? (laughs) I hate cooking. Mark's always cooking. Mark, can you just come over for my cooking show? But that's actually my point is I want to call it like the spunky spatula. Okay. Like that's the name I made up. So, um, and then I thought like I could have my daughter come over we could make like Shakeology balls. And then I could have like Mark come up, drive up from Medford three hours to be like the guest on my show. And I just thought I would do it at a routine time. Like every Saturday afternoon, the spunky spatula comes on something like that. Now I can't make this video public because I don't want someone to steal my spunky spatula idea. (laughs) So now I can tell you whose video it is that no, okay. okay, I can't, I can't, it would not be cool. Okay. So spunky spatula have a show. So think about that. You guys, I'm giving you actual takeaways. I know we love to hang out. I know it's time for me to wrap this call up. Um, I know we enjoy being together, but I, really we need to be practitioners. So we, I want you to think about things like this tonight. Um, let's create email lists. We, we run a business. How, what are we thinking that we aren't? Like we need to do that. I know some of you are. I know some of you are way ahead of me. Please teach me how. <laughs> like a newsletter once a month to our customers with a special or a tip or a recipe that we pull from the Team Beachbody blog. Why aren't we doing that? We, we should be doing that. Um, and um, email list. Also think about a freemium, something you can offer for free that they can opt in with a real email because they want to open it or, and or, both would be sweet, a baby offer. What's something that you could sell online that's five bucks, three bucks? Um, So, okay, think about going live. If you haven't gone live and you're scared to death, practice in Team Play Hard. It's a private group. Practice in there. I don't care. We don't care. Go live in there and then delete it when you're done. Be like, I'm practicing. (laughs) We'll hop on and we'll be like, good job. Um, And it is smart to practice like in a private group. Yes, you need a dear Dana. Here, let me open the chat because I can only see part of that message right now. Yeah, Dana, you absolutely need a dear Dana show. A hundred percent. That's already your brand. It's already your instant handle your challenge group page name. Yes. A million times. Um, so that's your other assignment. So email lists, um, freemiums, baby offers, and they don't have to be team Beachbody related. 
we want to build trust with people and to offer value. So I think it would be great if you can come up with a freemium like Jake's is a great example because it's photography. They're going to fall in love with them. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> and then they're going to be like, whoa, he works out. I need to lose weight, you know? So, um, it doesn't need to be Beachbody. Like actually think outside of that box. Let's build trust. So when we do our show, let's not talk about our company. Let's just be us. And we're not, not everyone's going to like us. God, don't I know it. Okay. So, um, all right. So, uh, I think I'm, I think that's everything. Um, yeah, that is everything. The point I wanted to end with, I already made, which was the Doris Thews tip, which was, watch everything back. In her mind, it wasn't watch. It was, it was assess your certification day, but I relate it to this. What's one thing I did right that I want to do again next time? What's one thing that I didn't do right that I want to change next time? That has grown me in so many facets of my life. I'm so glad I implemented that one thing. Um, that is all I have for you. Um, totally open for discussion, but I want to honor your time if you need to hop off. I'm trying to keep these to half an hour. Um, so questions, comments, or do you need to hop off? Tomorrow we have our mastermind at four. Thanks, Jennifer. Is there anything else? YouTube has a TV subscription offer. Yeah. Oh, the other thing that... Shalene said, and I did mention this a couple weeks ago, is we want to do less more often to equal the same amount of investment of time on social. So we don't want a story for like two minutes of a story in one sitting. It would be better to do like 15, 30 seconds here, a couple hours later, 15, 30 seconds here, five hours later, 15, 30 seconds here for a bunch of reasons. Um, and then same thing with um, in Facebook and, and Instagram, both we used to tell coaches and believe and do practice three to five posts a day. It's not about that anymore. It's like one good engaging post, maybe two um, is what they're saying now. And then also on Instagram, like one a day is good, but stories all day. Um, Sherry, what are you asking about, about the three day refresh? The sampler pack? Um, for the, you were saying for like a coaching offer, like something oh. each body related to put into it. So like do the premium and the baby offer and then like some piece of the coaching. And you were saying like the sampler for clean week mm -hmm. and like three day refresh, like. Well, the three day refresh. Yes, but it's, it's, it's expensive. It's not really a baby offer. It's kind of like a $50 offer. <laughs> kind of a, a daddy off. My clean week is 30 something. You're right. It's 30. It's 29, right? I think it's oh, maybe that's our price. plus shipping. That's our price. Okay, wait, no, this is actually what I meant. You know how a lot of us, you included, order through your spouse, like mm -hmm. packets or whatever, as do I. I've always, I always have packets. Um, and so often that I want to try to like get rid of, you know, I often have excess and so to bundle seven in a dollar store plastic bag and sell it for $30, I'm not making a profit. I'm literally just going to get break even. But if I can get them to, I mean, you can decide the price point, but 30 bucks is base is pretty much our price. Or you could do 30 bucks and have them get five packets and put in a little journal or a little thing that you make on, online for tracking their nails or a cute pencil or something um, and give them a little goodie bag, but make a challenge group on a week of clean eating with a shake Shakeology, but it cost them 30 bucks. That, that's what I meant. I just expected you to read my mind. <laughs> okay. So not like a direct beach body purchase, but that we are giving them like they pay for us. Basically, they're not purchasing through the share cart and that type of thing. Right. Like they could pay okay. you and we're, you know, we can do that. Right. Um, yeah. Uh oh, Diane, you're muted. I just want to know what's for dinner that Mark's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, on.
unmute. Tell us how you're doing. Um, you know, hanging in there. And uh, right now I am making a chicken Thai red curry. Oh. <laughs> That's my own recipe. So I can't say that if you went to a restaurant, this is what it should taste like, but it's pretty good. See, I just did Asian tonight as well. My stepson wanted teriyaki chicken, so I did my version of a teriyaki chicken at home with pineapple and bell pepper and onion and carrot and stuff. Um, Jennifer and Mark live in the same area, Southern Oregon. And Sherry's in Washington, but not too far away, Vancouverish. And Heather and Betty and Melanie are California, and Diane is with me in my backyard, and Dana is in Georgia. So it's late for her, but she's a night owl. <laughs> All right, guys, let's stop the recording.